the battle might not come back. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground, when the boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground. When the boots hit the ground, all coolness should stop now. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground, when the boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground, when the boots hit the ground, all coolness should stop now. It's time for the war cry. I'm going to show you what Christ said. I'm going to show you what Christ said. Because he says they're Jews and then they're Greeks. They're I'm Gentiles. Show, listen, so he brought other you to understand? the covenant. You came to the right place today. Because we're going to give you the understanding of the Bible. And it's That's coming straight it. out of God's mouth. Yeah. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Who are the sons of Jacob? God changed Jacob's name to Israel. The son of Jacob are the son of Israel. That's right. Now read that again. He said, I change not. Read. For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. You're not consumed. Meaning what? He's always dealing with the sons of Jacob. You understand? The Christian church has taught our people lies and said, God, is, God uh, rejected Israel. And don't deal with him no more. And now he turned to the Gentiles. But they don't have the understanding. But he, did, he did recover the Gentiles. Watch, right? watch this. Watch this. Give me, give me Matthew Jews. 15. Yeah. 24. But he saved the Gentiles. Watch what, remember, God of the Jews and the Gentiles. Remember, and I'm we're gonna give you the understanding. Somebody get the Zonovan Bible dictionary. So so listen, listen, we're gonna give you the understanding, sis. But remember, you said what Christ said. Now we're gonna see what Christ said. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, right. Read that again. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jump yeah. up into verse 21. Let's see who's talking. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. Come on. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out to the same coast and cried unto him, saying. So this woman of Canaan was, in, was a heathen, was a Gentile. Read. Have mercy on me, O Lord, uh -huh. thou son of David. Uh -huh. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Uh -huh. But he answered her not a word. What did Christ do? But he answered her not a word. Why didn't he answer this woman? Based on what you're saying, let's see. Come for her. Hey, let's but see. Now, I'm based on what I said because he just said, Watch, he didn't answer her a word. Now, listen up, listen closely. Read. But he answered her not a word. Come on. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. They like, Get her out of here, Christ. Why is she coming over here? She a heathen. We don't deal with them. Read. For she crieth after us. For she crieth after us now. You wouldn't help her. You didn't answer her, so now she's crying after us, your disciples. Read. But he answered and said, but this is what Christ said. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, I didn't come for the other nations. I came for my people. I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The, the lost sheep of the house of Israel are you so-called blacks. Real. You so-called Jamaican, Real. you so-called Mexican, right. you so-called Indian. That's all right. of these words, all of these names are, that we have on us today are the reason why we're lost. That's oh. right. Are the reason, so Christ said he only came for the lost sheep Jesus. of the house of Israel. Oh, yes. you, you understand that? We read it straight out of the Bible. Let, give me Hebrews 13 and 8. I disagree with you. 
is I can put up another scripture where Jesus is saying, okay, Peter says, Paul says, I'm a disciple to the, the Jew, right. and the other one is an apostle to the Gentiles. Well, Paul was a and, to the and, 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 and talk to me about when he says, oh, you give, give, the, give the vision of what he says. Bible dictionary. Unclean, unclean, and he says, yes, nothing yes. that the Lord blesses is unclean. Yes, so he takes from the Jews, right. he, he gives give the blessing right. of the Jews to the Gentiles. Are you saying... Christ is, is not here for nobody but the Jews. That's what the book of the Bible oh, just says. Yes. So, 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 no, 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 no. We're going to read that. We're going to read that, sis, and we're going to find out. We're going to read that, sis. So, uh, where do I have you at? Hebrews 13 and 8. This is what Christ is saying. Read. Yeah, Hebrews 13 and 8. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 8. Yeah. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. 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 And forever. That's like right. his father, he does not change. Right. Yes. He did right. not come and preach his own doctrine. He came to preach uh, what, what the Most High gave him. Right. God's doctrine. You know right. He didn't create no new religion. Right. That's right. absurd. Right. That's insanity to go against your father. Right. You understand that, sis? So now, give me the book of... Uh, yeah, give me that. 5 and 30. Right. 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 Book of John, chapter 5 and verse 30. Christ is going to say it out of his own mouth. And we're going to find out what the doctrine of God is. You understand? Because we're not here to bam trick our people. We're trying to wake them up to realize the truth in God. To realize the truth in Christ. Come on. The book of John, chapter 5 and verse 30. Come on. I can of my own self do nothing. Christ said I can do nothing of my own self. Read. As I hear, I judge. Uh-huh. And my judgment is just right. because I seek not my own will. He sought not after his own will, but the will of the Father which right. hath sent me. Right. But, the, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Now, what is the will of the Father in, according to the Bible? Hold that and give me the book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. Because what, the, what you ask the difference between us and the churches, they do not show you precept upon precept like That's the Bible right, right, told us right. to learn God's knowledge and his wisdom That's and right. understand it. They do not show you that. So yeah. we're going to go to the Bible because the Bible explains itself when you yeah, read it correctly. Yeah, but yeah, you have to be taught correctly first. Read. Yeah. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. What, yeah. what is the will of God that Christ said he did? I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. The will, O oh my God. Read. Yea, thy law is within my heart. That's the right. Word, thy law is within my heart. God's laws are within your heart. Yeah. God's law is the will of God. That's do right. you understand that? Right. Okay, our well, praises go back. Read that with what Christ said. The book of John, chapter 5 and verse 30. I can of my own self do nothing. Uh -huh. But as I hear, I judge. Uh -huh. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will. But the will of the Father which has sent me. Come on, we know the will of the Father is the, the laws of God. Read. If I bear witness of myself, uh -huh. my witness is not true. You hear what Christ said? If I come up with my own will, if I do my own thing, it's not true. No. There is another that beareth witness of me. And I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. Right. Yet ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. That's unto right. the truth, sis. Unto the truth. Because, was that, John 12 and 6? The way, the truth, and the light? Yeah. yeah. 14 and 6? Because Christ is the truth, right? But, but what we got to understand is, give me that in... Uh, the word John 17 17 John 17 17 give me that real quick and I want you to pay attention sis I won't pay attention but I'm going to show you where he says you can't and we're going to gonna give you the understanding and we're going to give you the understanding we're going to go there Gentiles. because we're going to listen read the book of John chapter 17 verse 17 Come on. sanctify them through thy truth cleanse them through his truth read thy word is true because right now our minds are filled with a lot of filth, right. a lot of lies. Right. But he said, cleanse them with thy truth. So he said, the what? Thy word is true. So the That's word right. of God is the truth. That's right. why we're going to come out of the word of God to show you and to prove to you what you're saying is wrong and what the Bible saying is correct. Listen, right. listen up, listen up, up, listen up, sis. Now, give me the Zonovan Compact Dictionary. I want to show you something. Zonovan Compact Dictionary. Now, this is what the scholars know. They, 
They studied the word, right? This is the same people who set up these churches that you go to. The same people. We, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Read. We're going to find out what Gentile means. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Definition of Gentile. Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. Read that again. Usually. What is that word usually, sis? Most often. But not always. But not always. Okay. Right. Pay attention to that. Read. Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. So usually it means a non-Israelite people. Like, like what? Give me the book of 1 Ezra, chapter 8 and verse 69. Like what? Usually it means a non-Israelite people. Now, let's see what, who the Bible claims to be the Gentiles, the real Gentiles. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on, sis. Just hang on. Hold on. Hang on. We're going to give you the understanding. We're going to give you the understanding. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just stay for this understanding. Read. The book of 1st Ezra, chapter 8 and verse 69. The nation of Israel, the princes and the priests, the Levites, have not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. So the strangers and the Gentiles, they have not put away of them. Okay. Read. To wit of the Canaanites. So now they're labeling the, the, who the Gentiles are. The Canaanites, Africans. Mm -hmm. H Hittites, Africans. Mm -hmm. Perizzites, Africans. Mm -hmm. Jebusites, Africans. Whoa. And the Moabites, right. Chinese. Right. Right. Egyptians, Africans. And Edomites, so-called white people. God is telling you who the, who the real Gentiles are. So not everybody else. So, so every, everybody outside of the, of, remember the, the, so now, now we got to get an understanding, now we got to get an understanding, give me, give me John chapter 7 verse 35, now we got to get an understanding sis, because now that we know that the Gentiles are the other nations, we know that, but the, remember in the Zondervan Compact Dictionary it says, usually it means a non-Israelite people, meaning what? Yeah. Sometimes it's talking about the lost sheep of Israel who yeah, don't yeah, know that they're Israel right. when they're living as Gentiles. Right, 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 Just right. like this. Okay. Just like right. this. In the Greek, during the time of the Greek, the Greeks took over the Jews and they didn't, you got that? Watch this, sis. First uh, Maccabees, come on. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 41. Come on. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. So now, you know about Alexander the Greek? Okay, so when he went and conquered the world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This is before Rome took over. Right. Because Rome conquered the Greek and then they intermingled their uh, civilization. Because they were the same people to begin with. But, but read that again. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. So he wrote to his own kingdom what? That all should be one people. This is the same philosophy of their ancestors today right. in America. Right. All but should be one. Bible. Listen to the Bible. Listen to the Bible. Listen to the Bible. Says, please, please, listen to the Bible. All should be one people. This was their their philosophy. Okay. You understand? Same philosophy of the day in America. All should be one people. Mm -hmm. right? And everyone should leave his law. His what? His law. Wow. Everyone should leave his law. Meaning what? You Israelites who got the laws of God should come leave them so that we can all be one people. Right. Yeah. Uh, so all the heathen, all the heathen, the Gentile, the nations that are not Israel agreed, ac agreed according to the commandment of the king. That was a commandment of that king. So know this. When you agree to be one people, you agree to leave your ancestors. You agree to leave your people, your tradition, your custom, your heritage. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion right, is right. what Bring his out. religion Bring right out. so now his laws his customs his traditions his ways 
that's his religion. That's his religion. Your heritage is supposed to be your religion. And our religion is supposed to be keeping the commandments of God. Not becoming a, a Baptist. Not becoming a seven-day Adventist. None of these things. You are discounting. Come on. You are discounting some significant things. How? We did not choose to leave our ancestral home. We did not choose to leave our ancestral. So if you're gonna mix apples Come and on. oranges, Come we're on, gonna sir. talk about. I'm not mixing apples and oranges. So, you gotta listen. So we're not choose. We did not choose as a people. I'm gonna show you we didn't choose. I'm gonna show you we didn't choose so right you here. Mix some people based on no. what you're saying. No, no, no. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. So you can't know what I'm saying. I didn't finish it. Come on. Hey, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messenger unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judea that they should all follow the strange laws of the land. We were forced to follow the strange laws of the land because we were conquered by another nation because we didn't keep the laws of God. Give me that in Second Matthew, Matthew piece. Chapter 6 and verse 6. Because there's more to this. It, 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 the wicked Israelites chose to follow the, com the commandment of the other nations instead of keeping their law. But this is why we fell away in the first place. Read. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 6. Come on. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath day. You hear that? It wasn't lawful for you to keep the commandment of God. Right. Which commandment? The commandment of keeping the Sabbath day holy. Right. It wasn't lawful for that. Read. Or ancient feasts. Or the ancient feasts. Like the high holy days God gave us. Passover. Right. Feast of first fruits. Uh, uh, the Feast of Dev Dedication, yeah. all the, the Feast of Tabernacles, all these things, the new moon, celebrating the new moon. We're supposed to be keeping those things, read. Right, right. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Yeah. Listen to that part. Read that again. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Wait a minute. So it wasn't lawful to say, your true nationality is, I'm a Jew. Right. It wasn't lawful to do that. Right. So what did they have to profess themselves as? Real. Greeks. Right. Read that. Verse 8. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighboring cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews that they should observe the same fashion and be partakers of their sacrifices. And whosoever would not conform themselves by the manner of the Gentiles should be put to death. That's put us to death for not being like them. That's what you're missing, sir. Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. This is a problem with our people, sis. Instead of seeing what the Bible is showing you, that your ancestors got forced to become a Gentile. So why is there an issue when the Bible's telling you that God Christ didn't come but for his own people? Why is there an issue with that? Because of this right here. Proverbs 3 and 31. Proverbs 3 and 31. It's only talking about the lost Jews, sis. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. Give me the book of Acts. You got that? Read. The book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Yeah. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men, uh -huh. the God of our fathers. Our who? Our fathers. Wait a minute. Was 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 uh, Paul and, uh, and an Israelite? Yeah. So who would his fathers be? No, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Jacob, whom God renamed Israel, and of Jacob came the nation of of Israel. So he said the God, pay attention, the God of our fathers. For it to be our fathers, that's possessive. That means we've got to be related. The God of our fathers. Read. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Just like Moses prophesied and said he will come, he will raise up of your brethren. Come on. Him has God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Yeah. You're not listening, sis. He came to give repentance to Israel, sis. That's right. Did the Bible just say that? But not Israel only. I can't. Listen, sis. Listen, sis. 
the, the people of God have to realize the truth. They have to understand the truth. We're not out here to, to mislead the people. We're trying to show them the way. You, you understand? I because our people are. are always, yes, our, our people are always worried about the other nations. They hate us. That's why they keep us at the bottom. They set up the only stores in your communities and take money out of your communities and do nothing to give back to our, our people. So why must we care about them? They don't care about us. Give me the book of Matthew. Give me the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 31. Wait, no. Love your neighbor as yourself. Does your neighbor own another Jew? Your neighbor is not only another Jew. Yes, I'll explain it. Can I explain it to you out the scripture? Can I explain it to you out the scripture? Give me that. Listen to what Christ said. Uh, The book of Matthew 25, 31. That's what I want. The book of Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 31. You said Christ came for everybody, right or wrong? Okay, come on. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. So when Christ comes back, mm-hmm. read, and all the holy angels with him, uh-huh. then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, come on. and before him shall be gathered all nations. Right. Woo! All nations. Now check this out. You, you listening closely? Mm-hmm. He said, before him shall be gathered all nations. Okay. Meaning everybody. Yeah. All nations. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Read. And he shall separate them. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now we have a separation. All right. Again. Go ahead. Come on. And he shall separate them one from another, mm-hmm. one from another. Yeah. Not gather everybody together as one. No. Not through that. Okay. He's going to separate them one from another. Okay. Come on. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. Mm-hmm. No, nope. come on. And he shall shut the sheep on his right hand. So now he's going to set, set, set the sheep on his right hand. That's right. Hold that. Go back to Matthew 15 and 24. Yeah. He yeah. shall sh- set the sheep on his right hand. Mm-hmm. Come on. Matthew 15, 24. Yeah. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the Unto the lost what? Lost sheep. <laughs> unto the lost what? Lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. Right. Jeremiah 50 and 6. Is that what I want? Jeremiah 50 and 6. Hey, don't forget Revelation We're going there. We're going there. Hey. Jeremiah 50 and 6. Come on. The book. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 6. Uh-huh. My people, the Israelites, have been lost sheep. Wow. The Bible explains itself. God says his people, the Israelites, have been lost sheep. Christ says, I am not come except for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go back, go back to Matthew now, chapter 25, 31. I came on, what is Christ's name? Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another. And what is he going to do with the nations? Let's see. And he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set his sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. So he's going to set his sheep the house of Israel on his right hand and the goats on the left. Now let's find out what he's going to do with which one. Come on. Then, oh Lord. You said who are the sheep? You're saying his sheep is just the children of Israel. uh, Did did I say that or did the Bible say it? Did I say it or did the Bible say it? One more time. One more time. Jeremiah 50 and 6. You You asked me who the sheep is. Did you not? But this is what I'm saying about the sheep. You know his name, and all the people that are called to his name now are his sheep. His sheep is, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and hide here from him. So his sheep is not just us anymore. Read that. Where does it say in the Bible that the other nations are his sheep? Where does no. it say that? Can you find me the scripture? I will. Thank and you. Come on. come on. Read that again. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 6. Because this is what the Bible says. We're not going to believe what man says. Right. We're going to believe what God says. Come on. My people have been lost sheep. God's people are the nation of Israel. And he said, they are the lost sheep. Now go back to where you were at. 
Come on. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 34. Bring out. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Yes, right. For it was it. So now, the, the sheep on his right hand, he said, Then I shall say to those on my right hand, Come and inherit the kingdom prepared for you. So that's what he did with the right hand. Let's read on. Matthew uh, uh, 25. Matthew 25. Come on. 41, 41. Verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand. Okay, so listen. This is it. This is what he's saying to the, the ones on his left hand. Read that again. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand. Depart from me, ye cursed. Into everlasting fire. Read 31. Read 31. Read 31. Listen. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations. All nations will be gathered unto Christ. Come on. That's right. And he shall separate them. And he's going to separate them. Come on. One from another, uh -oh. as a shepherd divided the sheep from Bring the goat. Out. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. He set the sheep on his right hand. Go to, read on. But the goats on his left. And the goats on the left. Go Bring to, for, verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire. Yeah. Those yeah. are the right. goats. Those are the goats on his left hand. He right. will say, Depart from me. Why? Because you are not his brethren. Yeah. You are not his people. Right. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.